You know, the other thing with this young horse, probably part of why he's maybe moving a little bit is because he's because um, he's underweight and maybe a little doesn't have the physical strength to be able to hold right. himself, hold himself up, up. And, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be forceful with an animal like this. I'm just going to kind of uh -huh. sit here and say, you know, I understand where you're at and all that uh -huh. kind of stuff. So good, Pam. Nice. Well, what, what, would, what Pam's doing now is it's kind of unique to our method is that we balance first the heel to a plane that represents the internal structures of the foot. And then she's going to balance the toe to the heel so that the foot becomes balanced. And she's marked the foot up. You can see lines on there, which gives her reference to what we call the footprint, which is representation of the internal arch of the foot or the structures within the foot. So she knows where the structures are within the foot, and she's going to balance the hoof to that foot. And what essentially happens is the vehicle, be, uh, the hoof capsule becomes a vehicle for stimulus to the internal foot. And it aids the horse quite a bit, as you heard Ryan mention. Um, and then there. Mention some horses right we worked up. on for him. Uh, it actually helps with their balance. Uh, okay. I think you'll see that they're right. in training. It can help quite a bit. Tell, tell me, Cassie, what, what are they doing here with the, with the hoof stand and, and marking okay. the foot? And things? Well, what they're going to do is uh, they're going to mark the foot up, a foot up. They're mapping out the hoof print of the foot. Yeah, we have a mascot here, by the way. This is Bud that's floating around down here. Come on, Bud. He's in every film I think I've ever done. <laughs> um, what uh, she's doing is she's finding the center line, and then she's going to uh, find the widest part of the foot, which represents the access of the limb. The, the okay. access of the foot itself. Sure. And what we're doing are going to use landmarks that represent the internal foot and then balance that hoof to it. So she needs these landmarks in order to apply a good trim. Uh, the stand comes in handy on some of these horses uh, that we like to slowly transition them to where they have to really put up with us restraining a horse. You know how it is when you start to, to restrain right. a horse. Right. So the stand actually, you can see how the hip is much lower on that side and, right. and the horse is just relaxed. So it allows them to do the work Students have to stay under a horse for a long period of time. Sure. In order to do that, some horses become uncomfortable. So if we can keep them comfortable, I can teach my students. These students, some of these students have never been under a horse before. Because they're all, they're, a lot of these guys are just, this is their first time. This is their classes. first time around. Uh, uh, this is Dr. Das. She's a holistic veterinarian that works here in Ocala. Great. And um, she wants to know more about the horse's foot and more about applied equine podiatry. And working with her is my wife, Robin, uh, the yes. co-founder of the Institute. And uh, it'll be hard to get her to talk on, on, on film. On film, yeah, yeah. She's very, very shy. You can That's see. All right. She's in the middle but, uh, of doing something anyway. She works very hard. Uh, one of my best instructors, and we have actually ten instructors at the institute. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Great. Yeah. That's it. From the elbow. Excellent. Now, what, what is the stand? I mean, how, who made the stand and did well, you make the stand? Or? Yeah, we designed this. Uh, all of the tools that we use were designed to aid our students. Um, for instance. The knife was designed to aid in the way we do our trim. It's mm -hmm. a very sharp knife and it uh, has concavity to it. The stand was designed, it's, it's unique in that it has foam in the base. Now, one thing I find is that if, if a horse uh, feels security all the time, sure. it tends to stand a little better. So right. what happens is that horse pulls, the stand doesn't tip over, it'll flex into the foam. Mm -hmm. So by flexing into the foam, uh, the horse feels more comfortable. Okay. Now, it has a foam cradle that the foot sits in. It kind of cradles the foot. Right. And when she starts to rasp, because we don't use any nippers, by the way, in this. Really? We only use a rasp. Oh, fantastic. Okay, because most horses are trimmed too short to begin with. Sure. Believe it or not, we, we trim way too much. Right. So we only use a rasp because we are always working to get planes, flat planes, and uh, balance the foot. So we have uh, the foam helps us cut down on vibration, and the horse doesn't like a lot of vibration. Sure, I can imagine. Uh, you know, they, they like feel like vibration on right. the foot, so yeah. that has helped a lot. So we try to develop tools that uh, would allow us to get our students under the horse for a large amount of time, you know, you know for greater time so they can learn. Great. Well, this has been a lot, very interesting to watch and, and to see, and I know Tim's done a little yeah. bit of watch stuff here at the, at the house. So I've seen He's it before. He's been doing great. Yeah. yeah. So, um, well, great. Again, I appreciate you uh, showing me this stuff. Yeah, it's great uh, to have you here. Yeah. You know, the more we can get get the word out there about applied equine podiatry, the better. That's, that's you know? the truth. And, uh, that's the truth. And the more we can get you 
working with people to get the behavior of these horses so they nice stand nice and quiet for us and exactly. we can teach them. Yeah, let me say better. one real quick thing about that too though. Mm -hmm. It's not your job as an equine podiatrist or a farrier right. to train the horse to stand still. Yeah. It's really my job, it's that owner's job. That's right. You know, and I've I've had enough experience and worked with enough farriers to know that that's one of their main <laughs> pet <laughs> peeves. A, yeah, it is, it you is know? a pet peeve. Yep. Yeah, they, you're there for a job, you only got a certain amount of time, X amount of time during the day to do so many that's horses. Right. Yeah. So you can make a living, you want to have a horse that stands still. Yeah. And to do that, you really need to find them to stand still. Yeah, a way of teaching them to yeah. stand still. So we really appreciate it when an owner has a trainer or themselves, they really learn how to do this correctly because you can't teach a horse to hold his foot up in 15 minutes every six weeks or exactly. every four weeks. Exactly. So, yeah. exactly. Well, great. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, let's uh, kind of finish this up real quick and uh, we'll be right back. You guys stick around. <laughs> Ryan Gingrich has $75 in gifts for you. Sign up now. Ryan Gingrich, the behaviorist, has developed the Connection Club to keep in constant contact with you. Members get an exclusive Ryan Gingrich t-shirt, a monthly DVD, an emergency trail riding compass keychain, over $75 in gifts, plus unlimited access to the online answer zone where Ryan answers your horse behavior questions each month. Sign up now at ryangingrich.com. After several weeks of feeding E3 Live for horses, I noticed a better hoof, a stronger hoof wall and better material. For horses with laminitis, cracks, shelly feet, I have never seen anything do better than E3 Live for horses. Your horse will feel the difference and you will see the difference. Order E3 Live for horses today. Visit e3lifeforhorses.com or call 877-357-7187. Welcome back. Well, Casey, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. You're thanks welcome. for showing us around. Glad and to have you here. Showing the viewers uh, what you do and, and all that kind of stuff. So how can they how can they learn more about you and what you do? You can go right to our website. It's uh, appliedequinepodiatry.org, and uh, we're also linked to your site. We are. Okay. So you can get there and see uh, a lot about the school. We've got quite a few articles, uh, some scientific papers. We got a lot of good information on there that they can use good. and products that they need uh, if they want to get a good foot under their horse. Good. So a lot of good stuff. Good. Good. Well, I firmly and wholeheartedly recommend Casey's uh, methods. Thank you. And uh, I've seen them work on my own horses, so you guys should look them up and, and help uh, help your own horses out too. So, appreciate again, that. thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate it. So, uh, if any of you guys have horse behavior problems you'd like me to help you with, you can visit our uh, website, call our 1 800 number. Until next time, I'm Ryan Gingrich. You guys be safe. Have fun.